Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. And welcome to the Breach Effect episode. Is what I'd be saying if I'd actually finished it. My God. Yeah, sorry about that guys. I am still working on it and I did post an example on Twitter and the Facebook page. In fact, it's right over there. I've gotten some good feedback on it, so it won't be much longer, but in the meantime, let's talk music thanks to this request. ZayJB asked, Hey, can you show me how to use Filmstro Pro plugins in Premiere Pro? I am working on a movie. Please. Sooner? Well, it just so happens I did have that episode planned, so let's do it today, eh? As you guys may or may not know, Filmstro is a great piece of software that allows you to score your film and video projects by using reactive music. I actually did a full episode on Filmstro Pro last season, which I'll put in the description down below and at the end screen. If you did watch that episode, I mentioned that my process for scoring was to render out my video, import it into Filmstro, and after I'd composed the music for the video, then I'd just export the music back out, head back to Premiere Pro, and then get to work on the final mix. Well, the awesome folks over at Filmstro have now cut out those steps as we now have the Filmstro Premiere Pro panel. With this panel, you have all the power of Filmstro within Premiere Pro, which means you can literally compose your music at the same time as you're editing. And that is just... In fact, I'm gonna need another Lawrence clip to convey just how cool this is. My life has totally changed today. So gang, let's head into Premiere Pro and have a play. Okay guys, here we are in Premiere Pro. I've got a sequence set up, and this is actually the teaser for the Cisco hologram episode. As you can see, it's not crazy complicated as far as an edit goes, but there is one thing missing, and that's the music, which is where our Filmstro Premiere Pro panel comes in. If I head up to the source monitor, just ignore that clip there, you'll see one of the panels marked Filmstro. When we first click on that, you'll be prompted with a link to a walkthrough of the product, which I highly recommend you check out, as it's a little bit more in depth than what I'm showing you here today. So let's just click out of that to get out of it, and the first thing you might notice is that it looks a little different to the original Filmstro Pro. And in my mind, it's actually better. Instead of just genres of musics with tags, we now have a much more varied selection, such as mood, film and video genre, music genre, and an instrument palette section. At least for me, this makes better use of the tags and allows me to more easily find a song I like, as I can jump into any one of these sections based on what I need. So say I want a comedy song, I can just jump to film and video genre and find comedy. Or I want to convey a certain emotion, I'd head to mood. Or if I want to feature a particular instrument, I'd head down to instrumental and well, you get the idea. You'll also now have the ability to preview the music as your video plays, which really helps you pinpoint what will work and what won't. That is a very nice feature indeed. So I'm gonna head into film and video and find a comedy theme. Now if memory serves, the track I used for this one was in Family and Kids. Ah, there it is. And what we wanna do is hit the play button to demo it. That sounds good to me, so I'm going to hit the plus button to use this theme, and then we'll get into the actual editing of the song. I personally am going to mute all my sound layers down below in Premiere Pro before I get started with the editing. There we go. Now guys, this is just a personal preference and you don't have to do it, I just like making the music with no sound effects or dialogue at all. Now from here, we can do a whole bunch of tweaking, and this is the main core of the original Filmstro Pro, and I'm glad to say that it's still great. The first thing we can do here is set our in and out points. And you'll see both points will now update in the panel here. This is a new feature in Filmstro Premiere Pro panel. And this is one of my favorites as we're no longer limited to the time of the video we've imported. So if you wanna fade the music in as your title starts up, you simply move back on the timeline, set a new in point, and bam, Filmstro updates and your music now will start a little earlier. This also means you can easily mix more than one song on your timeline with ease. Next, we'll hit play and then we'll adjust each of our parameters live. Now you can do this one at a time or swap between them at the same time, but I prefer to do them one at a time. You also have the option to turn off the video if you'd like to. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but it's there if you want it. So let's start with momentum. Momentum. 
And once we get to that title card, I'm gonna spike this all the way up. I'll then jump over and adjust the keyframes on the timeline here, just so it's a little bit cleaner. There we go. Next, we're gonna deal with depth. Same again, I'm gonna head right to the end and then add that spike and then adjust. And finally, power. And shocker, I know. Gonna spike it at the end. Okay, that's all done. Now let's have a listen. Now I'm happy with that, and I might just name it Hologram. There we go. I now have two options here, guys. We can either render out that piece and drop it straight on the timeline, or we can save that session for later use, which we'll add it to our Sessions tab right here, which is an extremely cool feature as you can switch between songs you've already scored without having to repeat your steps. But I'm happy with this song, as I said, so let's hit Render. Filmstra will then render out the WAV file. It'll go green and indicate that it's ready to be dropped on the timeline. So let's drop that thing on the timeline. Now all we have to do is just unmute our other tracks and balance our audio. Now I want the music to be a bit soft as we're talking and then jump up when the title card comes on. So I'm gonna head to that cut, grab our razor tool and make a cut on the music right here. I'll then bump down the audio to around minus 15 or so while the dialogue plays. Now let's have a listen to our final mix. You sure about this dude? I don't think people are going to like the whole hologram host idea. Ah, just give it a chance. Who knows? You might like it. Alright. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning. The show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you- I'm down. You're right, it sucks. Told ya. Nice. Now guys, there are some shortcuts in the Filmstro Premiere Pro panel, which I didn't use because I just wanted to demonstrate how to use it from start to finish without using them. But what I've done is add a link to the description where you can download a PDF that shows all of those shortcuts. Now I'm sure they are going to evolve over time, so just keep your ear to the ground and check out the Filmstro website for any updates that may happen. But for now, we're all done. So guys, that's the Filmstro Premiere Pro panel. It took an already great product and integrated it even better into the production pipeline. And it made my life even easier. And for that, I'm gonna bestow it my highest honor. A thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus! Now the guys over at Filmstro have been super cool to film learning and they're giving us our own discount code. So for all you film learners, you can use the code MARGARDAN and get a whopping 25% off an annual license for Filmstro. Now gang, I will also mention that I've had a packed week so far and I haven't gotten to the subscriber shout out emails as yet. So that will be back next week, hopefully along with that bridge effect, Grant. Am I right? 
Yes. As always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please like and share it. If you're new, be sure and subscribe by clicking this guy right here, or maybe you want to become our Patreon patron. Well, that's right here. We've also got some other content over here, as well as that good old social media crap above my head. But until I get some more effects stuff done, keep learning.